See this table here. Whenever I type in something into the first column of this table, see the date and time of entry is automatically recorded in the adjacent cell. A user defined function called timestamp is used for this purpose. Now the second method. See we don't have a formula in column B here. But whenever I enter data in column A, a timestamp is generated in the column B. Now let's see how to write the VBA code for creating timestamps like this. To create a user defined function which will record the date and time of data entry in the adjacent cell, go to the developer tab of Excel ribbon. Those who cannot find the developer tab in the Excel ribbon, right click on any of the existing tabs, customize, in the Excel options dialog, customize ribbon, on right side, mark the checkbox against the label developer, ok. See developer tab is added to the Excel ribbon, click on developer, visual basic and here is the visual basic editor of Excel. Now to insert a new module, right click on any of these objects, insert, module, now type in this code. This code will create a user defined function called timestamp which will record the date and time of data entry. We will close the visual basic editor, equal, type in timestamp. See the user defined function called timestamp is listed here. Now select the adjacent cell, the cell where we will be entering data, close parenthesis, enter, we will copy this formula into the cells below. Now let's do some data entry. See the date and time of data entry is recorded in the adjacent cell. Let's modify the existing data and the timestamp updated. Now the second method. To create timestamp in column B, whenever we enter data in column A, right click on the sheet tab, view code. Now to select the object, click on this down arrow, worksheet. To select the procedure, select change. Let me delete this part. Target dot column is the column in which we will be entering data and one refers to column A. If you want to enter data in column B, use 2 here. Target dot offset 0, 1 refers to the cell in which date and time will be recorded. 1 means timestamp will be created in the adjacent cell on right side and if you use 3 here, timestamp will be created in the cell 3 cells on right. Let me close the VB editor. Let's type in something into column A. Right now seconds are not visible, so let's change the formatting of this column. Right click, Format Cells, Custom, we we'll select this custom format to add seconds, colon, yes, yes, ok.
let's modify the existing data and the timestamp updated. 